position on domestic issues. I'll put Milton Friedman's position on domestic issues. How about Newt? And Buckley and all the rest. Or Ron Paul's. And yet none of them, nobody in their right mind would say what you just heard. I want you to rewind this, Mr. Producer, because this guy could win the Iowa caucus. Good. And hang into this primary all the way to the end with hopes of giving a big speech at the convention and then claiming victory as he rides off into the sunset. Hallelujah. Go. And what you said was, quote, think of what happened after 9-11. The minute before there was any assessment, there was glee in the administration because now we can invade Iraq. Do you really believe, Congressman, that there was glee in the Bush administration after 3,000 American citizens died? They might not describe it that way, but there was a lot of pleasure. The neoconservatives, even years before this, were looking for an opportunity. This doesn't mean they had glee about 9-11. That's a total misinterpretation. Oh, they my. had pleasure in knowing that they had an excuse now to do what they've been wanting to do for so long. And what did they do? They marched into Iraq based on lies. There was no Al-Qaeda, no weapons of mass destruction. So, so, so where, uh, stop. Let's assume all of that's correct. Just right. for argument's sake. And the president should have been impeached. Oh, right? Okay, one man can't impeach if the president. If the president goes into a war with glee, wants an excuse because he's a neocon, wants to go to this war, and then lies about it to Congress, lies about it to the American people, does so with forethought and intention, conspiring against the government, his own government, and conspiring against the American people, to fool them into a war, did Ron Paul seek his impeachment? No. Please. Instead, he puts this crap out now. Seriously, Mark Levin, you claim to be constitutionalist and you're attacking the only constitutionalist in the race. He's gone on a long time. He's an opportunist. You're an opportunist, and you're a shill for the and establishment. And then he told you he didn't say what he said. This is a perfect Ron Paul example. He says things and then says he doesn't mean what he 